getting up in the years It started long ago Getting up in the years I know Good morning, this is Gaming Perspectives with Saul and Jolene And today we're talking about Aging and RPGs Character aging Well, we get it older too <laughs> Why do you choose what age your character is going to be? Wow, I didn't think about that. I think a lot of people choose an age they think is appropriate for the character they're playing. Whether what kind of character that is, it all depends on the game, right? So, like in D and D, a lot of characters are very young, right? Because they're they're the classic farm boy, city boy, whatever boy, and he goes out, girl, girl, and he, she, they go out into space, space. Cause they just want to, you know, they want to be. Uh, pilots and an old codger wizard dude shows up shows them the ways of the i can't say the trademark name i think you're i think you're talking about a different game <laughs> well no what i'm saying is it's a what is a tro- trope right where where a young person doesn't know their destiny you know starts going on an adventure on a hero's journey and by the end of the adventure you know he or she they are you know, more powerful or had a huge impact in the world, in the D- universe. D&D kind of makes it, when I was reading about this, because Salt throws these questions at me. I don't out of matter. left field, left he says, field. why do people choose the character's age? That should be a topic. And I say, <laughs> okay. I love your impersonation of me. <laughs> so I look it up and I'm like, so I read a couple of our different articles and this one guy goes, would you really want a wizard who's 70 years old trying to become a first level wizard? Yeah, you know. The, the <laughs> I mean, and I thought about it. I'm all, well, maybe it's his second choice in life. And he went through the whole, he was a merchant for 69 years. And on the 70th birthday, he decided that I really want to be a wizard. He's well, got that's an interesting 30 story. years left, right? Well, depending on what age, he could be an elf. He could live forever. So D&D actually makes it easier to start your characters off young 18 19 because you're a first level a first level fighter a first level wizard right and you, there's this idea that they lack experience right right as first level but that's not necessarily true you could be a, a first level fighter at 25 or 30 right 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 well i mean that's what i'm saying it depends on what your backstory is so that's that's the other thing <laughs> What is the what is your motivation for being this character? When you're creating a character, you should always consider not only, well, according to one of my friends, you have to roll the stats and then decide what kind of character you're going to play. Which There's that. When do you do, do they let you move stats around? It depends on who your GM is and what he wants you to do. I think they do. I think they let you move the stats around even if you roll. There's the point by system, right? And mm-hmm. then there's the the yeah, they let you move them around. And then there's the the standard array or whatever they call it. And then they have then there's those mean GMs that make you only roll three dice four times. What, what? Six times? Six Seven, times. Six times. And, and, you just, they, and, and that's roll. it. And I consider I those guys it... grognards. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that rule hasn't been in a book since at least original d and I think even advanced d d had different ways of generating stats. I'm sure it did because I'm sure people complained if they actually ever made you do that. Well, when, it, when, when you have a character that you know is immediately crap when you roll them you know i remember rolling up a character <laughs> that didn't have anything above 10 he falls upon his sword and he had <laughs> I like need to a, roll he another had a, character he had a terrible roll he had, he had terrible stats i mean he was like a five and something and a, and a seven and i looked at felipe and he goes okay yeah you can roll over <laughs> okay thanks see even felipe who's pretty hard when it comes to although he's softer now when it comes to changing your characters around because he wants you to play Maybe play your flaw, but he doesn't want you to have a four intelligence. Because then you're not going to be able to do anything. Right? Well, <laughs> or yeah. wisdom. You might want to choose a role play that out. Anyway, but no, he was he was actually pretty fair. I think if I would have played that character, he wouldn't have lasted very long, right? Because he had like a negative two to constitution. So immediately I could possibly die upon rolling my hit points. Though I think he had a minimum <laughs> of one. So, <laughs> you know, anything. And then the. The original D&D didn't have any uh, z- negatives or anything. Right, Once right. you hit zero, you're dead. So I literally could not be hit if I That's a whole other discussion. Hit that points. is a whole other discussion. But when you're... So so there's two theories, right? You, you could play an older character in D&D at first level. Or also, 
um, one of our friends likes to start his games at third or fifth level because that's when you start to have fun, right? So that allows you to make a 35 year old fighter, right? Or a, a 60 year old wizard, or, you know, if you're a dwarf or elf age, isn't, isn't so important, right? Cause they live a long time. So sometimes like Augustine will go, I'm a 200 year old dwarf. Well, Watsi doesn't care about age. So yeah, you're right. Watsi does you know, there's no, nothing in, in the books that talks about age. Saul was telling me that in fifth edition, right? In fifth edition, there's no rules. You could yes. be a fighter, and and you could be getting hit by a spell that's aging you. If if one existed, I, I was thinking of the of the of the ghost because in the, as the last time I remember using a ghost, when it touched you or hit you, uh, it would cause one d four times ten years of aging. So, so you know, but but Watsi doesn't. It took that out because obviously it was a problem because. Watsi doesn't care about age in 5th edition, so they had to take that out. because. Can you tell everybody what that means? Watsi? Yes, because I know what it means, but I don't like it when you just use the acronym. The acronym? Then. Well, I don't really like the acronym, but it's hard to say Wizards of the Coast all the time. Wizards of the Coast. Wizards of the Coast. Wizards of the Coast is what it stands for. Thank w you. W-O-T-C. Just for our listeners that aren't total geeky gamers. Who would that be? <laughs> Some uh, old lady family. goes, oh, look at what this mean? Okay, yeah, you're right, I guess. So Wizards of the Coast, makers of 5th edition, or publishers, or whatever you want to call it, don't really, con obviously they didn't care about aging because they took it out. And they took out things like the ghost. And uh, I remember in AD&D, &D, haste spell used to, give, used to age you. Every time you were hasted, you 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 would uh, lose a number age of years. two, two yeah. to five years. I forget what it was. And there was all kinds of things that would, that would age you, and so there were spells that caused you to get young again. But even the the ghost thing, it would age you, but you could still fight like you were until until you died, right? Well, I think they might have had some rules, some optional rules about aging. At least I remember something about that. So I think the most important thing to to realize here is if you're making a character and you want to give them a lot of experience, you need to give them a little bit of age with it, right? You can't have a an 18 year old that knows all the fighting styles in the world right <laughs> they're 18 but they're a sixth level uh fighter monk or something right you can't do that i mean you could but if i was the gm i would say really so you, when did you start to learn these things well think about it you know how old are you how how, uh, how, old? how much have your characters aged in the, in the game you're playing and let's say the the current fifth edition game we're playing, where your guys are like tenth, eleventh level, yeah. Uh, how uh, how much game time do you think we spent game in eight in, in the game? Well, in real time, it's been like five <laughs> years. So in in game time though, in game time, I don't know. We've we've traveled in dimension portals and stuff, so it's hard to say. So you you would would you say you've aged your character's age five years? Yeah. At least. Yeah, at least five years. But I, would, I would say it would be half of that. Really? Don't you? I would say five years. Hmm, interesting. Uh, you know, well, and, and as, a, as, a G, as a GM, that's terrible, right? Because that should be keeping a calendar about what... If you think about it, we started out in, in Cormier, and that, that adventure had to take at least a year and a half. It couldn't have been like three months. No? I, I have no idea. <laughs> this, this sucks. So, yeah, okay, so five years. But I was thinking, let's say, let's say f to get from like zero level to like fourth level, any character. You probably it, only age a year. A so. year. So if you, your character starts off at 16, at 17, he could be sixth level or 18, right? So it's possible. I mean, I'm just saying, but, but, okay. So, so, but let's, let's, let's be realistic. We're talking about a, a fantasy game that, that's true. That age isn't necessarily all that important, but right. like, Steve always makes his characters with a bigger backstory, right? And ne not necessarily all young, m maybe in their 30s. Right. So as you get older, and I'm not saying Steve is old, but as you get older, and I was reading this too, a lot of older guys, the grognards out there, they've discovered that it's okay to play older characters, right? Because one of the things one guy was talking about is that we people in general fear death, right? It's not something you want to happen. Okay. So... And you can, and death equates age for the most part. Right. You get old and die. Yeah. So 
who wants to play an old fighter who's 45, 50, is starting to feel all the pains of when he gets up in the morning, he has to stretch. and and But you see that in the movies. You see older guys in movies that are, are well, yeah. soldiers and fighters, and and they they deal with those kind of issues, right? Of course, if they if you are a fighter, you're probably going to be very fit and not have a lot of problems. But all of those times that you're going to get hurt and hit and stuff might give you some issues, right? Aging movies is kind of funny because like the guys could be like 70 or 60 years old and their girlfriends are 30 and 40 years old, right? I think it's interesting in the movies, but in d and I think it's okay. You're right. I have noticed that Steve does have older characters. He, they, they're never 14 or 16 or, or teenagers at all. They're usually in their 30s. And I think that, that has to do with the fact that that as a person who's substantially older than that now, <laughs> he, you know, he could see that, that that's not a big deal. Where I think a kid like my, our son who's 16, he looks at 30 as like, man, that's like a long time from that's now. Ancient. That's old, you know. <laughs> I mean, I remember thinking that way. I remember, I remember when I was in high school, uh, there was a a girlfriend of mine, a friend, not my girlfriend, and she was dating some dude that was like ten years older than us, twenty eight, and I, we thought, wow, that why are you dating that old dude? So it's funny like, you say twenty eight because one of the articles I read, which was on Reddit, well, it was just on Reddit, it wasn't an article, but the, this guy asked this question about playing char- older characters, and <coughs> one of the answers was. Well, now that I'm older, I'm 28, and I can totally see playing a character that's 25 or 26, and that's old. And I'm like going, seriously? <laughs> well, like, I'm all, I just thought it was really funny because... I guess age is relative. You know, yes. Something like that. Yeah. Okay, so 5th edition D&D doesn't care about age, but other other games do, yes. right? And, and I think I, uh, the few games that I own... <laughs> Very few. Uh, I I noticed that a trend in in the genre. If the genre is a modern day game or is sort of modern, modern, modern day era, right? Yeah. Like you know, even Victorian era or or, or near future, or whatever. There's rules on aging, right? There's rules, and and the typical you know aging rules are: you, the younger you are, you might get a boost in your stats, mm-hmm. but you get less skill points, right, for skills. Right. Or skills, and the older you are, you get a boost in skill points, but you might lose a, a, some points in some stat. points in a stat like, like strength or dexterity stri- yeah. are the are the big ones, or and it might get a boost in like wisdom if there's such a or something comparable, and I think that's interesting. I think that's you know that's a a way of trying to be more realistic. I think um the Call of Cthulhu game that we played in right um you played an older professor right in your 40s right or 40s or 50s I think it was in my 40s yes and but I think that had to do with the way that you rolled the numbers first or because because in Call of Cthulhu Shannon and Morgan always say you roll the numbers and then you decide what kind of character you want right and depending on which stat is the highest blah 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 right the kid the the stats dictate the the character class and even right. no classes and th- you weren't the only one who did that i w- one of the things i read this guy was talking about in D D, I would never play an older character because it wouldn't be realistic to be doing these heroic things jumping around but in call of cthulhu where you're not actually trying to fight you're trying to investigate and solve things because you're going to die if you try to fight <laughs> <laughs> this guy goes i always i like to play my he goes my favorite character is a a latin professor who's like 55 wow. and in the 20s right so yeah so he's like you know indiana jones but a little bit older right in the movie <clears throat> 20s or 30s well Where, 55 yeah 55 i don't know how old indiana jones indiana he had knows. to be like 35 in that movie i mean not the actor, but the character was like thirty-five, maybe so? forty. Yeah, he seemed pretty young, and and the actor, how old was he? You think Harrison Ford? Yeah, he, well, he was pretty. He was younger. He was in in his thirties. Thirties, right? Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's one way of looking at 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 aging, and I think it fits pretty much. You know, I I've seen the. Uh, it makes sense, right? Well, the whole and aging in that thing. game, if you're an investigator or you need library skills or something, you need to have better stuff in that in those stats right to be able to do that you put your, your points in there and that's not going to hurt you if you're an older player but you right. also aren't going to be have a good constitution or whatever they call it in that game <laughs> vitality or something yeah i forget what it is but you're right i think we have uh 
it, at once playing COC, that really kind of opens up the idea that, well, it's not a combat oriented game either. No, right? that's what I just said. Yeah. yeah. So there's a different focus as to the type of game it is. But even other games, you know, like I remember playing Dark Conspiracy, and I think it has rules there that if you, you know, because in Dark Conspiracy, there's a, they, I call it the life path system kind of, right? So you make a character. I, don't, I forget if you, you have to roll the, the stats, but then for uh, I think it's four year blocks, you do stuff right. So you you enter a career, whatever career that is, and in in Dark Conspiracy, since you're supposed to be a normal person, you have like there's you know they come up with all kinds of jobs, you know, policeman, school teacher, professor, all this other stuff. Go to school even right, and and if you go to school, it gives you, you know, the, on the different jobs, it gives you gives you different skills. And every four years, you could either decide to keep that job or go to another job. And in in the, in the in that description of the the different careers you can have, it has where you can go from there, right? So you right. can't become a history pro- or professor without first going to college and, right. and stuff like that. But also in in modern games, if you can if you think about it, I mean, D and D is a fantasy game, right? You have arrows, and I know that they do have some pistols and gunfighters depending on the era you're playing right well you, you i think that's optional optional yes but for modern games it doesn't you can still be old and have a gun that's going to kill people right that's true so it's it's it, it age versus weaponry you know yeah that's right you know yeah what's that adage that that they say I don't uh know. I, I can't tell what you're thinking i always come with these <laughs> well it's, it's it's what is it is that uh God made men, but Smith and Wesson made them equal, <laughs> right? And what it means is, is that that you're right. You know, before guns were invented, well, we'll use this term loosely. You know, when people fought each other, they fought each other. It was a very physical thing, right? You had a sword, shield. You're banging against each other, and you're and there's certain limitations. If you're 55 or older, that's a caveat. There's a caveat there. That you know they're gonna usually not be able to withstand or fight against somebody who is thirty or if twenty. If you're fifty five or older, you're gonna have a bunch of hoplites in front of you because you're gonna be the <laughs> well, freaking general. Let's say, let's say well, let's a single man on man combat here. So there's that idea that so that you would think that's an unequal fight. The idea is or on skill, right? There's different levels of skill, but with a gun, you know, you learn how to point and shoot, and point and pull the trigger. It's much easier and so i will refer you to the 13th <laughs> warrior <laughs> oh, yes i guess you're right and there is there is there is exceptions and all that you know there's you know you could say that because you're a better older older more you, experience. experience you have more you have more levels in fighting than somebody who's younger and are able to dispatch the person quicker and before age of and getting tired has an effect but in D and D, there's no such thing, so right. don't worry about it. They could fight forever, <laughs> right? Until, they're, until they're, they kill over. Until the hit points run out, then they kill over dead. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. So that typically that's how you would look at things. But you know, I was just talking to Jolene before this started, and I was like, man, I go, you know, there's something weird about that because it doesn't make sense to me sometimes, or it just it hit me kind of weird that that just because somebody's older, they don't, they can't fight. And and then I realized what I was thinking about. I was thinking about Uncle Bill, oh, right? Uncle Bill, the, lum- yeah. the lumberjack. And he was a lumberjack. He would go and cut trees and pull them out of the freaking forest. And I remember when I first met him, he was a real, he, was, he wasn't very tall, I don't think. But he was real, you know, I met him in 19... None of the men in my family are incredibly tall. Yeah, so I met him, and I'm not tall either. So I met him in 1991, and I, you know, he was a nice guy. But then, what, 20 years later, I think, we, I met him in a family gathering, and I saw him again. And he was considerably older. He was like 20 years older at the, from the time. And so maybe it could have maybe been at least ten years. Maybe it was older. ten years yeah. older. I don't know. I can, it's kind of hard to remember. But I remember meeting him again, and and this you know, and so me and Jolene obviously had been together longer, and so anyway, so I I shook his hand, and and I'm like, oh wow, he has a really strong grip, right? And then so me being the touchy feely guy that I am, I just I grabbed him from around the shoulders and I hugged him, and the guy was freaking like a brick. There was like, he was just solid. And I was like, holy crap. And I even mentioned it because, and then he had a bad arm, remember? Because he, cause he yes. had almost chopped it off or yes. something. And so, 
I'm like, holy crap. He goes, he goes, what? He goes, man, you're like really solid. And so he goes, he he didn't really flex, but he bent his arm because he had a t-shirt on. And he had like, it was just like a boulder. And now he wasn't huge. Now he wasn't like freaking no, Arnold like Schwarzenegger. Five, seven, five, eight. And he wasn't huge. Like he no. wasn't full of muscle. No. But, but he was just like That's ripped. That's what happens when you carry a chainsaw through the forest. <laughs> Plus, so then he's telling us how he injured his arm, right? And he almost cut off his leg. Oh, he almost cut off his leg. But yeah, so. so I think he had dislocated his shoulder. Yeah. Because he had, he, this, I know I'm, I'm getting way off course of aging, but I, I, to illustrate that this guy, he was have been about 55 or 60 at the time. And he's out in the Redwood Forest or forest cutting down trees. Northern California. Right, Northern California. Because he was a logger as well as mm-hmm. his business. He said that he he wanted a, a high revving, super powerful chainsaw so he could cut trees faster because... i should mention all my uncles are nuts by the way <laughs> so i he, he so he he built himself his own chainsaw right and so but the problem was that it had a hell of a kick because it was like it was almost like a motorcycle engine right that's what the guy that's what he was at a small motorcycle engine to run his chainsaw so at one point i guess he was uh was starting it he had the pull thing and it, somehow it got something happened and it pulled the pulled his arm out you know it caught something and it dislocated his shoulder, right? So then he, with a dislocated shoulder, he had to carry that chainsaw and make himself back down to the mountain, down the mountain, back, back to, to civiliz- truck, yes. civilization. And then you're right; there was another situation where uh, he was chainsawing something and it kicked, yes, and it went it back into his arm, into it's his leg. Like, yeah. And so he had a he had a tourniquet, it, and then he had a you know because he's gonna bleed to death out there, mm-hmm. and he then because the. That when he's logging, they're not, you know, him and his crew, they're not really all together. You know, they're not like next to each other. And so, you know, he had a walk on his leg that he half cut off to his crew. And then they, you know, took him back to uh, to town and to the hospital. <laughs> so what I'm saying is this guy this was... This is not a, unusual for any of my uncles, just so you know. <laughs> so this guy, you know, like I said, he was, he was super strong and... And I'm like, and there's no way he could have probably like picked me up and slammed me on the ground, no problem. And so, I, so it makes me think about that whole idea of losing your stats when you age. There's certain situations where it that totally is not, depends on the person, right? I mean, yeah. Well, maybe you know, maybe character. maybe compared to when he was younger, he did lose some strength. But let me tell you that that guy had like 18 strength already, so he must have been like. 20th strength when he was younger so it, it, it depends on on how you so i could see somebody an old fighter mm-hmm. like you, you mentioned the 13th warrior you know your favorite movie one of your favorite movies where the young the older guy right mm-hmm. is battling that big brute right yes well, angus for, was his name angus was the big brute yes what was the little guy's name i forget his name i don't remember but he it, we'll go watch 13th Warrior. it's a great movie but in this in this one scene i'm gonna spoil it for you he fights this big old huge dude, right? And he's getting pummeled, right? Because the guy is huge. He's like six foot six. Right? He's like, <laughs> and, he, and he, he blocks it with his shield and the shield breaks in half. But it's a, it's a kind of like a duel. So it's like, as soon as the shield breaks, they go grab another shield. And then he's fighting and fighting them. And then, uh, at one point when, when he's running out of shields, right? Yes, yeah. He doesn't have a shield left. Uh, he's like, the guy goes, well, he goes, so they keep fighting, and, and he's a guy swinging, and he's dodging, and finally he goes, the, he gets the okay from his from his uh, higher-up guy, who is... Beowulf. Beowulf. Or, yeah. The guy who, you know, I forget what his name was. And he gets the signal to kill the guy, so uh, expertise over sheer brawn, he, I think he chops off his head. But anyway, so he wins the fight, and so... That's an illustration of what is it? Of knowledge and fighting skill versus just brute force and youth. I think I just argued myself out of that whole age thing, how how it should work. But I think I think it does work. I think, you know, as as far as rules for aging and having an effect on your characters, uh, especially player characters, I think it's a pretty good starting point, but there's always gonna be exceptions to those kind of ideas, right? Well, one of the ideas is that uh, whether the rules for the game have it in it or not most people do put rules into their games or or they they will supplement things you know house rules or whatever if you're gonna play a 70 year old wizard then you know (laughs) i I don't think anybody any anybody i know has ever done that but i've heard of that on other podcasts where this one guy wanted to play a 70 year old wizard or 60 or whatever 
the problem was that they saw was, well, where did he come from, right? Why is he at 70 or 60 years old, a first level wizard? And you just said, you know, he could have been a merchant and just had a, what do you call it? A change of jobs. <laughs> <laughs> And I guess you know, you know, it all depends on your backstory, right? Your backstory can can make sense of anything that you decide to do that may seem odd when you're just like looking at it. Wasn't or, that why people multi-class so they can they're like fourth level this and first level this, and so they can add different things to their well to their character? I, yeah, multi-classing is funny because I think in the old uh, AD and D, it was like it was really tough to multi-class. Right, it was just really hard. Pathfinder, the boys loved that thing. Yeah, multi class. Uh, I think you know you just get the benefits from different things, right. and that's why you usually do it. And so aging, and, and but see, what was funny is that there was aging in AD and D, and they got and they took it away. And I think AD and D is different than fifth edition. AD and D to me, when, when if you play by the rules, it takes seems it takes longer for you to to advance in levels. Right, it takes years and years and years. Where, where I don't think you, you could go pretty quickly in fifth edition. I mean, uh, the the amount of points, experience points that you need are much much smaller. Did AD and D give you make you get more experience points to go up to up a level? Oh yeah, I think the the they or was were, it just that your GM was very no no they have a points. table. Okay. And they have a table, and there were some things that took more experience, right? Mm -hmm. Like wizards and clerics had a different experience table than fighters because they figured fighters, you know, that's for, I don't remember the actual numbers, but let's say go to first level, you needed a thousand experience points for a fighter. But for a wizard or a cleric, you needed 1,200 because they figure that it's just a harder thing to advance in level in wizard and stuff like that. And the, but, I, but the actual number of number of points or experience points that you needed to go from from fifth level to sixth level is much higher than I think that that fifth that fifth edition is. So I think it took you longer to do to go up in levels just because there was more experience to get, and the only way you could get experience back then was to kill things, right? So I don't know if you wanted to do this episode to encourage people to pick different ages <laughs> with their characters, but I don't know if you've talked them into it or out of it. Well, I don't necessarily want to talk people into out of anything of playing characters, but I think there's it's a consideration for uh, for people to to think about age in their in their game and the, and if you're gonna have rules or homebrew something that it should be fair. But all, you know, there's gonna be exceptions to everything. You know, I think uh, there is going to be exceptions. You know, there's gonna be you know Arnold Schwarzenegger is still a big freaking guy, right? You know. Oh yeah. You know he still he still works out. Still probably lifts more than I do. You know than I can, and you know especially I'll, now since you haven't been able to go to the gym for <laughs> like five or six know, months forever. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, even when I was going to the gym, I'm sure he was like bench pressing much well, more yeah. than I, I can. He he's built differently than you, babe. <laughs> Sorry, he's a lot bigger. He's a big son of a gun. So so you're right. Age. There might be some trade offs physically, usually, but I don't think it has to be that way. And it depends on the game you're playing too. Yeah. And maybe there's a game out there that really takes age into consideration oh, yeah. versus I mean D and D obviously doesn't, so but Call of Cthulhu there was a little bit that I read about it. Yes. Um and then also I'm sure the more modern games and like fate games and stuff, like Dresden files or Dresden. Dresden's not young. No. He's a wizard. He's pretty much beat up, beat to hell all the time, too. So, <laughs> I mean, I can see that, you know, you're playing an older cop that whatever, right? Right, right. So it just depends on which kind of game you're playing in the genre. Right. And I think, it, but I was, I'm just saying, it, consider age. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I wouldn't, like, I immediately think that just because somebody's older, that they're frail, you know. Yeah, and, that's and, probably a bad idea, <laughs> especially if you're... It seems to me that that's, that's kind of like... You know, when you look at the that idea that uh, that characters uh, who are older get more points, but they lose, you know, uh, physical traits. And when you're young, you get physical traits, but you don't have as many skill points. I think traditionally, I, I, not traditionally, but I think logically that makes sense. But then again, at the same time, there's going to be exceptions to those kind of that kind of rule. 
And everybody's going to know people that are exceptions to those rules, That's not true. just my uncles that are, you know, older and... and Built like brick houses? Yeah. yeah. Or smarter than anybody else that you know and that kind of thing. Right. They don't lose their mental acuity. Yeah. And different things like that. Everybody's going to know different, have different people in their life, base their characters off of or books. And I mean, Tom Cruise is what the guy, the... I think he's pushing 60. And he's going to play Maverick. Supposedly, he's in a movie that whenever... I don't know if it's been made yet. Supposedly. Uh, what movies are we talking about? The, uh, oh, Top Gun? Yeah. I think it's already made. They just don't want to release it because... <laughs> there's no, you there's, can't go to the movie. There's nowhere to go see the movie. <laughs> and a direct to, direct to whatever video or yeah. on demand. I mean, I don't know how much money they're going to make off of that. But I think a lot of, a lot of movies are holding on to yes. know, big, big movies. That's a different discussion. Yes. <laughs> so aging in, in your RPGs, I think it's, in, it's I think it's important. I think it's an important consideration for for players to make, uh, and GMs have to take consideration. Uh, you can use that, like I said, that that I think it's pretty much a, a good idea. The the older you are, you get more points and and stuff like that. But there might be exceptions to that, and just think about that. This is Gamer Perspectives with Saul and Jolene. You have a good day. Getting up in the years It started long ago I'm getting up